What's up, guys? It's Friday, and so you know what time it is. It's time for What the Fitness. And this week, we have a return guest, another chiropractor, Dr. Stephen G. Let's see what he has to say about breakfast. I'm sure it's all positive and no fear mongering whatsoever. This is why breakfast has no business being in the morning when you wake up. Everyone who's ever had to read a physiology textbook knows that when you wake up in the morning, just prior to waking up, your liver gets squeezed by two hormones, up, one called glucagon, the other one called cortisol, in order to dump sugar into the bloodstream so that when you wake up, you have all of the energy you need to get out there and start your day. So why in the world, when you wake up in the morning, would you put the sugar from orange juice, oatmeal, fruit, breakfast cereal, pancakes, waffles, any of that into your bloodstream when your body already took care of your need for breakfast. As a matter of fact, those foods are going to increase insulin and it's going to pull sugar out of your bloodstream and actually reduce your energy. And not only will you reduce your energy, you'll increase your fat production. Why not wait a few hours to have breakfast? Wait until noon before you have breakfast. Then you can have a nice big breakfast, preferably of protein like bacon and eggs and that will help you restore what you've used in the hours before. Remember the purpose of insulin is to pull sugar out of your bloodstream. When you wake up first thing in the morning your liver just gave you a whole bunch of sugar to use and now you're gonna pull it all out by releasing insulin with those silly breakfast foods. If you find this video interesting please watch. Nope did not find it interesting one bit. In fact I would recommend taking your own advice and pulling out a physiology textbook because you just contradicted yourself multiple times because you said don't eat carbohydrates in the morning but also you said your body's trying to liberate carbohydrates so that you have energy yes your cortisol and glucagon do go up in the morning and yes your blood sugar goes up a little bit sorry there was a lot of contradictions in there and i'm just having trouble keeping them all straight in my head so the first thing is if we look at when people consume carbohydrate in general. I don't tend to make a big deal about this. If anything, the research data suggests that you are more insulin sensitive in the morning, that you actually have better glucose tolerance in the morning, and there is some data suggesting that in terms of meals, producing greater increases in energy expenditure, i.e. calories out, that eating a bigger breakfast may produce greater increases in overall energy expenditure than eating say a bigger dinner or lunch. So his like mechanistic gobbledygook of you've already got glucose in your bloodstream. Now, if you spike insulin, it's gonna take it out of your bloodstream. One problem with that doc, the entire way that you get energy from glucose is by pushing it into your cells. Just being in your bloodstream is going to do absolutely nothing. You have to get the glucose in your bloodstream into the cells. And when it comes to things like skeletal muscle, you need insulin in order to drive it into the cells. Maybe you should open a basic physiology textbook and you would know this because once the glucose gets into the cell by having insulin transported there, it can undergo glycolysis, the Krebs cycle, produce ATP, and actually give you energy. So I find the comments about people opening physiology textbooks very comical because apparently either you didn't do it or you didn't pay attention or you only paid attention to the part that made sense in this cockamamie scheme of how you shouldn't eat breakfast. Now, if you don't wanna have carbohydrates for breakfast, that's fine. If you wanna skip breakfast, that's also fine, but not for any of the reasons that this guy stated. And once again, I find myself really, really tired of people speaking outside their lane of expertise. This guy's a chiropractor. He has DR in front of his name. I have a PhD in nutritional sciences. I have DR in front of my name, if I want. If you were going to get an adjustment from a chiropractor and you show up and there's somebody with a PhD in nutritional sciences there ready to crack your neck or crack your back or whatever kind of cracking they're gonna do, how would you feel about that? You would probably be like, no, I want the person who actually studied this. So why do people think it's okay to take nutritional advice from a chiropractor who has no formal nutrition education? And I can tell you if chiropractic school does offer nutritional education, it's probably not very good, especially based on the things he just said, the contradictions he made and the ridiculous mechanistic mental gymnastics he just did 
in order to convince you to try to skip breakfast. That's it for this week, guys. Hope you liked the video. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you next week.